What up, y'all? Big Wall Dobsy out here uh, experimenting with camera angles, camera things. Moved it away a little pearly. Uh, not a little one, Dobsy. It's a short. We don't know what the sound is going to sound like. We don't know whatever, whatever. But we out here opening stuff, man. Here we go. Well, I got another 5950. Still rocking the roach. The Ned. We already touched base on it. We're going to use the SOB Forge one more time. We're going to use this SOB Forge a few times until I manage to do the uh, my little review video on it. Just because Shane O'Hare, man, he's a beast. He made this. My voice is starting to come back a little bit. I don't got a whole lot. Uh, I got this. Let's see what we got here. Get, in, get up in there. This, uh, and you know, I didn't bother studying up nothing. I just been, uh, I'm not gonna front. I've been a little bit salty the last day or so because I slept through the uh, Clockworks Jack Daniels release, and I really wanted the Clockworks Jack Daniels release. Uh, it was just something I really wanted. Oh yeah, okay. So this is the performance machine, the 2022. This, uh, we can toss this over here because there's going to be another one in here. Somehow, uh, I couldn't get two ordered right off the bat. I don't know what happened with that. My chick didn't want one. So, let me tap off into this bag. We'll open this one. So, that bag wasn't nothing but just that. Uh, my girl ordered it separate. This thing, this thing sure ain't the Microtech, but the Microtech also ain't chopping trees down and shit like this little. I'm hoping with the uh, with the camera back a little farther, the crinkle crinkle ain't, ain't so bad, and maybe I can get a little better. I don't know. It's a better camera, a little further away. Another performance machine, same. XL, slap it, flip it, rub it down. Hold on, man. We gotta get a little sippy sip. Hmm. Mm -mm. <sighs> Ooh. I've already been at the you know the local watering hole pubbing my way through some uh, crispy boys i didn't get the i didn't get none of these because you know you go to i go to, i like dive bars man i was at the bni this is uh you know the best damn dive bar around south millet south of lansing michigan and uh over there you go over there man they don't they don't carry dairy products so i can't get a big Waldowski. i gotta get a beer or a whiskey and me and whiskey ain't the best idea together so we don't mess with it <sighs> There goes the tag. I don't know if the light's reflecting off it. I uh, I can't see myself anymore, so it's a little different now. I just uh, kind of got to look the direction. You know, we're going to do some editing. We'll figure it out. Performance machine. This is the 2022. I should have worn, you know, man, if I'd have thought about it for two seconds and been smart, I would have worn the old one for this. Let me pull this neck piece out. Uh, anybody, ain't nobody hit me up yet, man, with any... uh. Good use for those, for any of these clips. Good use for any of this shit. Just hang the stickers on a the thing. There's the uh, inner tag. And I know y'all have heard me talk about how some of these feel like they're thicker. Some of them feel like they're softer. Some of them just feel like better material. And I'm gonna go ahead and let you know, man, that this is another one of them that feels like it's just a just a hair higher quality. I know it's all D-Tech, but I feel like some of it is made of a thicker ply. Some of it's more almost dress shirt material. Some of it's actually like flannel none of them get fuzzy till you wash them and uh i dry clean mine so mine don't really ever get fuzzy the only fuzzy ones i got are ones that i've bought used i'm actually in the process right now from a guy in some of the facebook groups trying to touch base on a uh, og boulevard and a boulevard two and also uh might be getting my hands on a cassidy and those are, I mean, that would be three of my top four I'm searching for right now. So if somebody's got a G'd up for me out there, they want to let go at a decent price. I do wear an XL, which means the G'd up, I would need that in a 2X. Um, and it'll still fit weird, but I don't care. And if you don't know, the G'd up is the original Danny G collaboration. Uh, the, you know, the heavy hitters, the blue of the heavy hitters, you know, G'd up. I need that in my life. So let me know if you can cop that for me or you want to see me, you know, open it. But uh, yeah, this this uh, this performance machine, man, is real sweet. It's a blue, black. I mean, this pattern. This is my favorite, my favorite uh, seg or I don't know what you got, like the, the way this plaid is or whatever is my favorite, how it kind of has that illusionary. It's almost like a, a drunk buffalo or something because the buffalo is the big squares. 
this stuff. I don't know. I have to look into it. Maybe that's the next thing to study, man. This uh, motivates me to find knowledge and get, you know, a little bit more shit that I know. I like the performance machine with the Dixon. Everybody knows I like it when the color matches the shirt and the color matches the shirt. And they kept it extra G with the, uh, let's go downtown to the, what the, what am I doing here, man? Sheesh. They got the blue Dixon down here. So, yeah, Dixon with the performance machine logo. I dig that. And as always, man, I always dig the snaps. They went with the top snap. And the, the collar ones, or the pocket ones don't. The collar stays. Do say performance machine and Dixon. The top one has the performance machine logo. And I'll probably, you know, I'm going to put it up here, here, whatever. I'm going to do the uh, little, the little collage that I do with the sticker, the button, the tags and whatnot. Uh, the buttons here, performance machine. But yeah, man, this is a real nice flannel, man. It's kind of a... It's very reminiscent of the Suicidal 2.0, um, but different. I don't know. There's been a few of the pleateds that I do like better than others, and this is one of them. I mean, you never hear me say anything about not liking any of their stuff. I, I'm pretty much uh, always going to be a fan. Unless they put out a stuff. I, have, I still have yet to get any of the stuff with the, you know, one pocket up here, one pocket down here, or the double pocket tags or upside down pocket tags. And I mean, it must be like winning the lottery because I do purchase a lot, man. I mean, I purchase every drop. The only one I've missed and like pushing up on since last year, the only drop that I've missed is this clockwork saw uh, Jack Daniels from yesterday morning, the 2222, the rye. <clears throat> and, uh, I won't front, man. I'm pretty upset about it. I actually even emailed Clockworks and asked them if there happened to be any extras because the, you know, the big snowstorm, man, the internet was kind of sketchy here in the Midwest. My phone was acting up, but uh, it wouldn't have mattered if it wasn't acting up because I did sleep through it. Uh, I set an alarm and it just didn't even fade me. Uh, next step, they finally came. I had to order them separate because I know anybody that follows me knows that I did get to bitching because I thought that I had ordered myself some chinos, man. I thought I did. Um, I didn't. I couldn't really recall if I had or hadn't. I did uh, checked out some of my brothers. His uh, He bought some 32 30s and some uh, 34 30s. And I tried on his 34 30s. You can see the whole, you know, I mean, you can see the whole, uh, the whole outline. And this ain't great sweatpants season for your boy. I'm a little chubby, so... It wasn't, uh, it wasn't how it was working. But I copped some in my size. I don't know if you remember, man. I was telling you, the material is amazing. This stuff is super soft. I wear khakis to the, to work every day, unfortunately, because um, I still have to work because y'all ain't sending me checks out here yet. I'm trying to figure it out, man. I wish y'all would pay me. Pay me to wear this stuff and open this stuff and talk shit and drink, man. This would be a hell of an occupation. Hmm. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, these D-Flex, I don't know what to say about them. They say they're slim fit, but uh, I, to me, this is not a slim fit. And they don't have no punk little peg leg bottom. They are definitely more of a relaxed fit. And I may even uh, cut to a little piece of me wearing them right here, you know, kind of cut away and see if we can see them. Unless they don't fit right, man. Because I did, like I said, I did switch sizes up to try to make sure they're going to fit. But if they don't. Oh, man, and I didn't even notice that these do come. So, let me pop this off here because I'm wearing these. These are for work. I'm going to wear one of these tomorrow, probably. They do come with the big button and the little button, replacement style. Uh, what else we got here? Let's see. What's the tag? The tag, uh, work hard, stay humble. They don't say nothing about being the Chinos. They don't got nothing, no kind of brand or whatever. It's just Dixon Flannel Company on the uh, sticker tag. Anything in the pockets. They did come with my favorite, the silica gel, man. My favorite snack in the beef jerky bag. Whoo! You ever choke on one of those while you're drinking? Hit the speedway on the way home. You're like, oh, I need a bag of beef jerky. You spend like $68 for four pieces of jerky because that's how gas stations begin you. And then uh, when you're done, you pour them last few little pieces in there and then you inhale the uh, you inhale the uh, silica gel. That's uh, the, the hot shit. These say regular fit, man. I don't know why people keep saying slim fit. I don't, I don't know if that's a... Uh, I don't know if there are some that are slim, but I haven't. These are just the only ones they have on this site here, so that's what I got, man. The Dixon tagging on the back pocket. Just a small, real subtle. Not nothing obnoxious. 
and it's got red and I plan what's funny is I plan on wearing a red shirt tomorrow for uh, heart health awareness I, did, uh, I got an email about that today you had a little stash pocket here and the stash pocket whoa man the stash pocket is actually pretty good size so I mean you could you know I mean you know, zinger it out loud <laughs> In there or or whatever you know you can put your cell phone in there so you don't drop it out when you ride your bike i guess that works too come summertime the d-flex waistband i, I mean i showed y'all that and on my brother's pair they do get whoa it made a little creaky creaky noise but i don't think i don't think that was you know nothing major it's just it is them, them things these i think these are about to be comfy man i think these might be the move what are they say in here 36 32 we'll see if I have to, I'll send them back and get 38s. Um, Cause like I said, I am chubby. I am not the most slender fella on the planet. Well, yeah, the black ones are cool, man. They got the, they got the stash. They got the big button, the little button. The little button must be the pocket button. Yep. Both back pockets uh, snap. Nope, the left one does not. Oh yeah, the left one has a pocket button. Yeah, so both both back pockets do have buttons. I wish I could get Danny, man. I'll talk to him here and there on uh, Instagram, man. Uh, I wish I could get Danny to send me this shit for free, but apparently, you know, when you sell out in the first five minutes when you put out a Sherpa blanket and you can sell it out in two minutes worldwide, you don't, you don't really need uh, some guy that drinks white Russians taking your shit for free. <laughs> so, so he isn't sending me anything just yet, but it would be cool. I'll talk to another cat uh, starting a company in Canada I tried to give him a little bit of constructive criticism, man, and I wasn't even trying to be a dick. I just told him I was like some proper grammar in your advertisement campaign. Maybe spelling some stuff right would help you uh, grow your fan base. And he's like, man, my, my, my uh, product is going to speak for itself. And I do understand that if you have a high enough quality product, it will speak for itself and it will sell itself. But I'll tell you what, I'll have a hard time buying some. I mean, if somebody told me they had a flannel and spelled it G-U-R-B, I'm not even gonna know it's a flannel, man. I mean, you gotta you gotta come correct it first if you want if you want somebody to purchase your product for the quality to speak for itself. And that's where I was. And I think he thought I was being a dick. It is what it is, man. I'm not educated. I'm not I'm not some guy with a college degree or anything. I just understand how marketing works because I'm a purchaser. I'm a consumer. I love capitalism. <coughs> Let me step off into this next boy just because I haven't even seen these ones yet. I don't want to see if the khaki is the same material because I know that, like I said, man, the shirts, the shirts do come feeling different. Let me feel that black one time. Oh, the black is, man, they, they, oh shit, right on the floor, man. Oh man, y'all gonna have to excuse me for one second. Oh. Ooh, threw it on that. Man, they gonna, they gonna be like them shirts I was talking about with the puppy on them. Oh. Take off all these tags and stuff. I should I should have left one of them in the bag with the tags and whatnot in case I got to return these in case they don't fit. But uh, like I said, man, the, uh, the way the, the same tag on the khakis that was on the black. Uh, and if these do fit, I'm gonna order the charcoal and blue. And uh, once again, uh, I don't even need to cut that. We got the khaki buttons. Yeah, and these are I mean that deflex man. I don't know what they what deflex is. I never bought any of the hybrid shorts. I never bought any. I never bought into any of that yet. So we're hoping. If nothing else, these will not be too snug for the office. They might be too snug for leisure wear come this summer. You know, I'm not gonna jump on my bike in some tight ass pants. So I might, uh, you know, wear these to the office and get some uh, a little bit bigger. And the buttons on them, they don't say like because there's no there's no you know model name or anything like that. There's not adrenaline. It's not. It's not performance machine. There's no collab here. So the only thing these uh, do say on the button is Dixon Flannel Company, and then they all say live free. And should Danny and I agree there, right? Are these YKK? I believe these are YKK zippers, which anybody that knows, that's what, you know, that's the premier zipper manufacturer. But they do say, man, I don't know. I might not even bother trying to, I don't think y'all can zoom in on this. I, I will snap a pic of this for the uh little collage you know whatever i put up split screen action and the interior tag and i don't know if there's anything hidden here man i don't think so he doesn't really have to hide any flavor or do any of that cool marketing shit that he used to have to do and i mean you know he just doesn't have to do it because his product has been selling so tough for so long at this point um and i wish i could show you how 
how much. I mean, my whole hand is in this stash pocket. I don't know if you can see that. I mean, obviously you can. But yeah, I got my whole hand in the stash pocket, pulling it out. You know, you're going to see that on the thigh. But yeah, we can zip that right back up. And then there's just as much. I mean, this pocket is even bigger and the stash pocket rides behind this pocket. And when I touched base on these a little bit before, I mean, it's it's a, a it's less conspicuous or more conspicuous. Like you can tell because there's a little zipper there. You might be able to tuck that little zipper into the slot. But uh, you can tell that this is a thing much more so than the stash pockets and some of the other products that we know about. But I've heard of people, man, with like the dirt bike kids being at the airport, man, the TSA spent a whole lot of time on them sleeves. And, uh, but that don't stop uh, people from, that I know, I mean, myself perhaps, allegedly, putting things in the, uh, you know, in the, in the tag stay uh, on like their workhorse or, you know, any other, uh, you know, the uh, lined flannels, things like that. But these do, uh, I don't know, man. I guess at this point, all I really got is uh, to probably try these on and, you know, throw a couple little picks up in here. I will grab this performance machine one more time. Let me run through it. Let me, let me, uh, I'll grab the one in the bag, show it off, packed up and bagged up. Spin that a couple times, Van away style. Grab the sticker. Let y'all see that one more time. Slap that right there, and I will grab this up. Uh, show the shirt off. Let me stand and deliver. Try to give a full shirt view. That's kind of the purpose of setting up the camera the way I have, is so that I can do this full shirt view at this point and uh, get that in there. And these, I don't know if you can see these snaps. Get in there like so. One more snap. Here we go, the performance machine snap. And, uh, all goes well and they ain't, they ain't bullshitting tomorrow i should have uh the dealer exclusive juno that's the uh, harley davidson dealership exclusive and then uh saturday what's supposed to show up saturday saturday something else supposed to show up uh oh i think my count uh, the anvil the anvil with the neil kamimura or kamimura so i uh, will have the anvil on saturday and then uh Sometime between now and then, I think Monday. Man, I don't know. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to look into it. So here in the next couple of days, man, I should have the Camimura. I should have the anvil or the the Camimura, the anvil. I should have the uh, 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 damn it. What was the other one I just said, man? Let me set this again to see if it reminds me. Uh -huh. I don't know. I'm gonna have that pink shreddy probably by Monday. So it's Thursday. Oh yeah, tomorrow I'll have the Juno, the uh, the dealership exclusive Juno. Saturday the Anvil should show up. Monday the uh, Pink Shreddy should show up. And then uh, I'm hoping sometime between now and then I also uh, I, I should also get the uh, I did order the flannel bunker, the uh, DMP collab that was called the Fallout. That's like a a pink and green and black. It looks smooth to me. I don't, I, I like colorful shit. Um, I mean, obviously I'll wear whatever because I'm wearing this green uh, Ned right now. Kind of look like the Kraken, but different. If you could see it, you could see. I mean, you, anybody that knows, knows that there is some real faint black lining in here. It's checked out, but it's real faint. Um, but yeah, so those, those, you know, Anvil, Juno, Flannel Bunker, and Shreddy should all be showing up by like Monday or Tuesday. And then I did get the uh, the blanket, the Sherpa blanket. But uh, since I, it sold out so fast here in the U.S. And I was slow on the draw, man. I, I uh, was probably busy, you know, making a big Waldowski or something. But I just messed around. I ordered mine from Australia. And usually they'll come within a couple weeks when you do that. Currently, there is a much longer shipping time due to the state of the nation, the COVID thing, and the lack of flights from Australia to here, the lack of flights from here to Australia. So it is going to put a little longer time span on that. Uh, but yeah, so, I mean, whatever, man, it is what it is. Somebody out there should probably send me a G'd up. I need that in a 2X. If anybody out there got a, uh, what else do I need? I need a presidential slam. I mean, I, I did need, I do need, and still want, I need the Boulevard 1.0 and 2.0. I'd like to have them new in a bag. I got the plug and I am about to pick those up used. 
um, but very lightly used, very clean from a cat from uh, some of the boards that I go on. Uh, he also has a Cassidy for me. The Cassidy does happen to be an XL, which I think I might need in a 2X. So keep your eyes peeled in the next couple of weeks. I may be trying to trade a Cassidy for a Cassidy 1X for a Cassidy 2X. But if I send you a super clean Cassidy and you send me back some bullshit, I'm going to be real upset and I will blast you. I don't advertise this channel or my videos on any of the Dixon uh, Facebook pages. But I promise the first time somebody rips me off, I will very much so provide links to my to my channel. I mean, I'm I'm slow growing, but uh, I think I think that I provide a quality content and I'm truthful. If your shirt sucks, I'll tell you. If your business ethics sucks, I'll tell everyone. Um, if you're good, I'll tell everyone. I mean, shit, so far everybody I've messed with has been uh, super solid. I mean, even the guy, everybody hated on his flannel, man. I'm not even going to say his name right now. Everybody hated, and even I think his product sucks. I mean, Danny even burned his shit on his Instagram store. Well, Danny didn't. Danny posted a video of some other cat burning his shit on his Instagram story. Yet, I still purchased and tried to support Independent, man, because that's just how I am. I'm, I'm all about shopping local. I'm all about supporting the little guy, and... uh. I mean, at one point, Danny was the little guy, man. Dixon was the little guy. It was the independent. I mean, he was rebranding Iago flannels. Um, so it's tough for me to see anybody in that position trying to hate on anybody trying to come up. But on the same note, I don't know how anybody could ever see themselves as competition for him because he flat out turned into a rock star off flannels. I mean, who, who else can say that, man? He's just a regular old dude. And he keeps it super humble. I actually mentioned some. Uh, I mentioned something that like that about it to him. I was like, man, I was like, ain't it crazy to you that you achieved full blown rock star status selling flannels? And he's like, man, I ain't no rock star. I'm the same dude I was when I first started with that hundred and eighty dollars, this, that, and the other. And I was like, yeah, bro. I was like, that's cool. You can be humble all you want, but Lemmy was humble too. And everybody knows the difference between Lemmy and God, right? Big Waldowski, out of here. Peace.